The warm and cool watercolor shoe painting is worth 20 points. You will be graded 5 points on effort, 10 points on the elements of art and the directions followed, and 5 points on craftsmanship. I drew this shoe in a previous lesson on YouTube. That video is titled Shoe Drawing. So I'm using this and I'm going to trace it onto a piece of watercolor paper. I'm only going to worry about the outlines though. I'm not going to do any shading. Next on my watercolor paper, I'm taking a ruler and I'm breaking up the space in the background. Prior to this lesson, we completed a color worksheet where we worked with only the primary colors to create our secondary colors and our tertiary colors. We also defined what complementary colors and analogous colors, warm and cool colors are. We also played around with changing the intensity of a color by adding its complement and we also worked with changing the value or the lightness and darkness of a color. So for your shoe painting you're going to use warm and cool color scheme. You're going to decide if you want your background to be with, painted with warm colors or if you want your shoe to be painted with warm colors. Whichever you decide, you'll do the opposite to either the shoe or the background. So I've chosen to paint my background warm and I am decided to paint my shoe cool. <clears throat> I'm going to go in, I'm going in now and I'm painting um, the background with warm colors and I'm doing different colors in each of the sections that I uh, broke up the space with and then I'm also playing around with um, changing the intensity of a color by adding the complement. Complementary colors are colors that sit across from each other on the color wheel. I'm also playing with the value so by adding a little bit of water and lightening up some areas By lightening a color, that's called a tint, and by darkening a color, uh, that's called a shade. To darken a color, you can add a touch of black to it, or you can also change the intensity by adding the complement. So now that I finished painting my background warm, I'm going in and I'm painting my the details in the different sections within my shoe, uh, different cool colors. So here's a picture of the final shoe painting and also here are some examples of some student shoe paintings.